This is code.org. Let's see what we're working on. Challenge. String variables. So far, we've only ever assigned a number of value to a variable. But did you know you can give a string value to a variable? And keep in mind, a string is a way complicated way to say a word or a sentence, right? So if it's in quotes like crimson, that's a string, a word. Read through the example program we've provided and then modify the program to create new images with different colors. So I already hit run because I'm impatient, but uh, what possible colors can I use? Oh, these are web safe colors. That's cool that they have that right there. So if you want to check out others, okay, so we just need to change up some colors, I think. Now, notice this says color one crimson, fill color one. When the computer hits this, it doesn't say, oh yeah, color one. No, it says, what the heck is color one? That's a rocket ship. Bam. Oh, it's crimson. And so the computer sees fill crimson. Notice when I do green here, it's in quotes. It's in quotes because it's a string. Crimson's in quotes because it's a string. We do not need quotes though if it's a variable because this variable represents a thing that is in quotes. Sometimes it bites you on killing off the quotes. I always have to put this cursor at the very end and then it will let me delete. Anyways, all right. I'm gonna do, I don't know, green, uh, purple were my college colors, um, orange, and I don't, what, that's a color? How? Uh, teal? Let's give that a shot. Ooh, that's kind of ugly. But um, I think you get the point. We could do all sorts of stuff. Let me just double check here. Give it different colors. Yes, 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 and yes. Mission accomplished, people. Gold stars. You're welcome. Onward.